to share you a little uh, personal note. I attended your inauguration back in 2007, and we were enjoying the festivities. My then fiance, my girlfriend became my wife, and I saw the silhouette of you in the governor's mansion. I think it was the first night that you probably were in there. And you had walked out and you were looking out and I can't even begin to imagine what was going through your mind because I thought, you know, what that must feel like because, you know, that wasn't your first rodeo to try to get there. Um, and we can talk about that later. What was it like the day you actually became the governor? You know, winning the race is one thing, but actually right. becoming the governor. And I would ask that of any governor, well, regardless of party uh, or anything like that. You know what? It settles on your shoulders mm -hmm. pretty quick. I mean, I, obviously, winning was a thrill, sure. uh, and and I mean, it was the biggest thrill of my life. Oh, without question. Uh, to for the people of this state to to give you the honor of being the governor of the state, and uh, so you know, all the excitement was there. But sure. but that day when you were sworn in, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, you realize this is it. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. are governor. Yeah. And now the responsibility is on you, and so. Um, mm -hmm. It, it, it was a fun day. It was also a, a kind of a calm day in my mm -hmm. mind, just mm -hmm. getting organized and saying, you know what, you asked for this. Yeah. You now have it. Yeah, they don't knock golly, on your door and go, By really? golly, you better make the most of it and you yeah. better do the best job you can do. Mm -hmm.